Spider-Man retro-ish releases from London and from 1027. We're going to talk about those today, see what we're going to be ordering. Some of the links are already up on our um, community page if you need those. Let's talk Spider-Man. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. I'm your host, Dakota, here with my co-host, Jordan, and we are talking Spider-Man Reveals. So we got half of the wave on 1027, the Hasbro Premium. I think they did it on YouTube. We're not premium members, so we just get to see it from the groups. I think they actually posted this um, on their YouTube. I didn't watch that. But then we got the other half of this retro Spider-Man wave from the London, whatever they call that, London Comic Con. Um, and I watched that. I believe over there it's called London Comic Con. I think you're right, Jordan. <laughs> um, I watched that on Dan Hu's uh, Instagram Live. So kind of just listening to Ryan was the one that went over there this year. It was Dan last year. But um, I think it overall, yeah, I think it's just kind of who gets to go on vacation. <laughs> Um, I think overall, this is a pretty good wave. I mean, I think yeah. it, it fits very well with my, I don't want to buy every single action figure that Hasbro releases, but I'm happy to see them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess let's jump in with the 1027s reveals. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe we'll save the best for last. Um, uh, we'll start <laughs> out with the last stand Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Jordan, you're going to have to kind of tell me who this is because i don't know him very well yeah if i remember right it's um my guy j michael straczynski his legendary early 2000s run on spider-man okay like quite a bit but i think there it's some kind of you know how that goes those multiverse hopping adventures but i think somehow he the main peter parker gets to a world where he's kind of like the grizzled old tough Mm spider-man type thing um, where he's like on the run from the government and kind of his life is a bit in shambles. So sort of one of those dystopian-esque tales. Okay. I don't remember exactly how all that played out, um, but I think that was kind of more the, kind of like the Logan vibe, you know, sort gotcha. of like Last Man Standing kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Hence the Last Stand Spider-Man. Sure. Um, so yeah, I remember seeing him. I've seen this variant one a couple times, so I wasn't really anticipating them doing it as Mm -hmm. a legend but you know it's another spidey i think it's a cool look that's not yeah i think i was watching dan who kind of i think it was dan who um kind of posed around the like seeing what the torso articulation was like Mm -hmm. and it looks like there's like no like diaphragm upper torso cut i think it's more of the ball kind of that Luke Cage kind of Mm -hmm. bald thing. Right. It didn't, I don't know, for a Spider-Man figure, it just looks weird when he's like so stiff back moving around. Well, he's he's spent so many years web slinging, dude. (laughs) I guess. He can't can't move like that anymore. I suppose. And this is the the most bare bones out of this whole wave. He only comes with an alternate set of hands. So... I think it like it as it looks cool and if you have your Spider Man display of you've got like just the whole Spider Verse, it makes sense. I don't think your average collector is gonna need him. This is one that I'm tempted by, but this is gonna have to be like a clearance for me to consider buying it. And I think there's a pretty good shot of him making it to clearance. So I don't know, what are you interested in him at all, Jordan? Not really, okay. no. I mean, you know I love Spidey, but yeah. even then, I, I don't necessarily need this one, but sure. I am, again, happy for the people who do get it, yep. who have been wanting him. It's it's definitely a different look. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's cool to see. I think it's always neat when you see more of those um, ones they haven't done yet or mm-hmm. those variant characters that maybe don't get as much attention. So, yeah, yeah. I think it's fine. But one, yeah, if I got it, it would it would definitely be a 
a clearance buy for me. Sure. One that I do have on pre-order as of right now is Jack-O-Lantern. And this one, where Last Stand Spider-Man comes pretty bare bones, I don't think you could fit another hand in (laughs) Jack-O-Lantern's packaging because you've got the figure, giant flaming pumpkin head. He comes Mm -hmm. with um, an extra set of, I believe these are fisted hands. I think he's got open hand. I can't tell what his other hand is because it's hidden behind his like glider disc thing that they just crammed in there. Right. And I believe there's like a silver ball in there too. I think that's part of like that goes on top of the glider. Like yeah. Kinda that goes together to me like that. It ports yeah. on it or something. And then he comes with a pumpkin bomb too. And that pumpkin bomb is new compared to what we've seen before from previous mm-hmm. green goblins and hobgoblins. This one can actually port onto his belt. And I was thinking that would be cool if, all four of those pumpkin bombs around his belt can come off, but I think it's just this one that's supposed to come on and off. Okay. I would I would assume that's you could probably wondering. get the others off, but I don't know. Yeah, Maybe I know I we were it. talking about that idea, but mm-hmm. I mean, I think that's at least cool that one of them does that. So yeah. you can, you know, kind of get that effect of giving them all of them or popping them off. Right. I also decided to pre-order this one too. Oh, so now Jordan, I was alone. I was thinking today. It, we, I don't know. We might want to cancel that, because is he really going to sell out and like go for full price, or are we going to get a sale on him? Yeah, because I do if want. I, him. I don't know. I saw. I saw he was out at least on Pulse. I don't know if okay. he's out on Amazon though. All right, maybe we leave our orders for now, and then maybe there'll be a Black Friday Both, deal, and yeah. we can he, reorder. Yeah, he did sell it. out on Pulse. I'm not sure though, because I ended up. We were going the Amazon route, right? These ones, but yeah. So I don't know if he's still there or not. And that's the thing is like. I will always lean towards Amazon, even though you've had some snafus with trying to order your Batmobiles and Batmans and things get pushed back or canceled. It's just such a hassle to like if, so we, we're ordering this and we're right now debating, do we want Jack-O-Lantern or not? If we get them in hand and we're like, eh, actually, I probably just got this FOMO, don't really need it. Amazon, you can return it no problem. Hasbro, you've got to jump through 5 million hoops to maybe get it sent back and then you got to pay to send it back no i'm going the amazon route (laughs) if you find folks want to go the amazon route i post these in the community page for like our affiliate links so if you want to send us a few cents on your action figure toy purchasing click our uh, affiliate links i'm not really sure if i'm allowed to promote that i know i have to say that it's an ad in the thing i didn't realize that it's i haven't always done that but so sorry sorry folks if you're if you're offended by me trying to make a few cents off your action <laughs> figures, <laughs> sue me. I'm the devil. <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> you're right. I am. I am in hell. Ah! <laughs> Don't sue me. Don't sue us, though, please. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> all right. Anyway, we'd rather we'd rather you not. <laughs> Back to Jack O' Lantern here. <laughs> this is a fully new. I believe it's fully new um, because we haven't seen the like scale type of torso with butterfly joints and you know and i know jordan which i think that has kind of become your like if my catchphrase is like substantial i feel like your catchphrase is you know and i know because you say that quite a bit you know what i know yeah you, you, let me know in the yeah, comments right. have you guys heard jordan say that about five times per episode not to get yourself you conscious know about I know, it <laughs> but it's all right that jack-o-lantern is going to get reused for my dread knight and that's going to come mm. in a retro iron man package which we're going to talk about on the next episode so i'm i'm going to call it right now guarantee it 100 percent. i'll stake my collection on it i, I probably won't actually wow. stake my collection on it but i am Careful. very positive that you're going to just put a little skirt piece on him give him a lance swap out the head there's your dread knight dread knight so, which I'm super excited right. about because I was worried that we're just going to get a straight up re-release with that kind of plastic Black Knight mm. that leg explodes. That that thing needs to be retired for good. Get it out of here. Out with the old, in with the new. I'm happy with this one. Yeah, that makes so, sense. Like we're debating here. Maybe you want to go pre-order that one. Maybe you want to wait for a sale. It's coming with a ton of stuff. So for 25 bucks, even if you're paying full price, I think this is a pretty good buy mm-hmm. i think the value's there uh, and they were saying that the glider you can pop the same 
kind of flight stand that comes with Demo Goblin or other Green mm-hmm. Goblins. So you can get them flying around. Hawkeye Sky Cycle comes with it too. Mm-hmm. And then the last one on 1027, Jordan and I's most favoritist reveal, I think out of all <laughs> of these, is the new Scarlet Spider. Now, if you haven't been listening to the Strong Collectors, I'm sorry. And you still have your old Scarlet Spider and you didn't sell him for 100 bucks. I doubt or you're going to sell him for 100 bucks. Oh, yeah. If you just bought one, ouch. Because I really don't think there's any argument. I don't see how you could make the argument that those old Scarlet Spider-Mans are better than this one. This one's on the but Renew Your said, Vows. Dakota, that's, that's kind of on you for not tuning in to our exactly. earlier episodes. You could have sold called this one coming. You could have sold your one retro Scarlet Spider and you could have bought probably four of these new ones. So sorry, but I'm happy because I got here rid of now, mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> you have to live with the choices you've made. <laughs> we yeah. pre ordered this one. Jordan, did right, you absolutely. you ordered one to rock and one to stock, right? I did nice. because, you know, it's just, yeah. Well, first of all, I was even knowing that we were thinking a new one would be coming. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it'd be coming this soon. And I also, yeah. I don't know, I, I just wasn't expecting much out of the 1027 reveal. So True. I thought this was a really cool one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like you said, the Renew Your Vows body. I love that. I love that mold. Yeah. So I think it's a great call. Sucker for that toe hinge. I know and you just are. in general. But even like the way they sculpted the hoodie, I think, is way cooler. Like yeah. the, the drawstrings are like painted and then you've got like the tattered the fringes of the mm-hmm. the hoodie thing. And um yeah, I think it looks awesome. So yeah. I'm super excited for that one. So definitely gonna be adding that one to the collection for sure. I am curious to um, see how the upper articulation in the torso goes, because that's a sculpted on hoodie. So I'm sure you'll probably be fine with like the lower app crunch, but I just Mm -hmm. wonder how much range you're going to get out of that top part. But from some of the promo shots, it looked like they got him into some pretty good. Yeah, I agree. So they did do a good job of the, that might just be that great new photographer or right. He just poses that well. Let's find out. I do have to look much closer into the photography now. Cause I'm like before it was very clear to say like, Oh, there was pins in this figure, not pins in this figure. Mm. this one he's a little bit better at hiding the stuff so i was was really looking at the um what was the last one we just talked about jack-o'-lantern making sure he was pinless but he is all the figures in this uh all six of these are all pinless Mm -hmm. so and he comes the scarlet spider comes packed in with quite a few hands he's got Mm -hmm. the full array of spider-man hands you got your fists thwips and wall crawling hands Mm -hmm. so I, and I think, you know, the, the Hasbro team is always talking about how decoing Spider-Man hands is so expensive. Luckily, mm-hmm. with this Spider-Man, it's just solid red. Pretty easy. Don't need to pay for that deco. Good thing they put all these hands in there. I'm happy with it. There is no unmasked head, Jordan. So I think that's your only argument yeah. to say that the retro is better than this. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> you know and I know. Why would I display my Spider-Man unmasked? <laughs> He's going to have his mask on. So you got to protect that secret identity. Exactly. All right. Now getting into the London reveals that we just saw this morning. And we'll start out with uh, probably the one that I... This one I was super excited for you. But then I looked into it and I was like, oh, it's not actually... I thought it was Superior Spider-Man. I thought it kind of looked like it too. Um, <laughs> but from, it's like, Spider Shot, yeah. So, do you know <laughs> anything about Spider Shot? I do. Oh. I'm, I'm pretty sure I do. Assuming this is the uh, the one that I'm thinking of, but in one of the Spider Verse storylines, I don't remember if it was the first one or the second one. They've done so many, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think he was a Spider-Man from like an alternate world, naturally. Uh, where, if I remember right, he was, like, trained by Wolverine or something. Yeah. And he's more of, like, an assassin. Mm -hmm. So, no qualms about, you know, blasting people with those, (laughs) uh, those, uh, whatever. And he's got, he's got the pew-pew effects there, so. Right. Um, yeah, if I remember right, it's kind of like a more lethal, Mm -hmm. uh, Wolverine-trained assassin Spider-Man. Yeah, it sounded like this was kind of born out of a what-if issue that then they kind of took and ran with the 
the idea that Wolverine trained him up, and then I think they like that was his like alternate universe, which I think is kind of cool that they can pull from mm-hmm. those what ifs and put them into storylines more. Um, and he comes with like a new kind of blast effect that we haven't seen before. Mm-hmm. He's got kind of like finger guns, but it like ports onto like the inside of his palm, kind of like where you would shoot webs from. He's apparently shooting bullets from or something. I don't know. But and then it's again, hardcore. he comes with three sets of hands. So he's got thwips, he's got fists, and then he's got his mm-hmm. finger gun hands. So I think this looks like they could easily do just like minimal changes and make it your superior Spider-Man that you've been wanting. Yeah. You yeah, probably don't close. have any interest in this guy, do you? Uh no no okay. I, don't. I didn't think so uh then we'll go to the halloween themed uh hallows eve so she's there's a figure i don't know and i've mm-hmm. kind of heard some other people talk about it. it they seem to not think it's a very cool figure or like a cool character idea looking at the action figure makes me want to read the stories where she's in it because she looks pretty, I'm pretty cool. sure she was introduced like this year as a character. Okay. I thought, I thought it was this year in the last year. I thought I was, well, at the, least the, the that yeah, incarnation. Her... Gotcha, I think gotcha. the like secret identity, Elizabeth, something existed before. Right. And then they kind of brought her back as gave her like superpowers and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. she comes pretty packed in with stuff kind of, I mean, most of these really are, she's got, um, gripping hands she's got fisted hands she's got the you know open female hands that i don't know use for spell casting or whatever um, and then she's also got two masks because you can correct me if i'm wrong jordan but i was listening and reading this morning that she kind of pulls masks out of her bag and then whatever mask she pulls out is kind of like the power set she gets I wouldn't be able to correct you if you were wrong okay. on that. So I, I, that's, I'm going to take your word for I it. I think that's what she does. So, if, like, if she pulls out, like, I don't know if she pulls out, like, character masks or if it's because this comes with, like, a uh, Ryan described it as a Dracula mask or a vampire mask and then a red mask. But the red mask is obviously, like, the devil. But I don't, he just wasn't going to say the devil on stage, I guess. Um, but I assume if she, like, puts the Dracula mask on, she kind of, like, gets the powers of vampires. Um,. And she's on the Shriek body mold, I believe. Pinless arms and legs. Mm-hmm. I would say this is a clearance figure, but it is a clearance yeah. figure that I would not mind finding. Yeah, again, I mean, it would, uh, pairing with Jack-O-Lantern, be a nice addition to your Halloween Go collection. back and listen to Maybe that. We'll, we'll, or we can, yeah, do an updated list next year. <laughs> they might they might make it if, if we find them for a decent price. Um but yeah, I mean, I'm I was surprised to see that figure just because I I know it is pretty recent. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I th- I think it's 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 cool to see new figures, even if they're ones that I don't really know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and then you it's know, you know people I, it, want that one. It'll go with your chasm. So mm-hmm. yeah, I don't. It, yeah, it does... kind of that dark web storyline. I right. didn't really read that one, so I'm not. I, I sure, want to but... now. Now that we've got some figures from it. I need to know what's going on so I know whether or not I want to get these fixed. I don't have Chasm. I'd like to get him, but I'm also not looking that hard for him. Um, And that'll be probably the same way I go about her, too. I mean, I think she'll be pretty easy to find on clearance. But Mm -hmm. anyway, the last figure in this Spider-Man reveal, we get Tombstone. So we've had Tombstone before and kind of his, like, leather V-neck outfit. With it. Does he have like a buffed up collar too? Yep, yep. His collar's flipped up. I'm trying to sell that one. It's still nobody's bought it yet. He's pretty cheap. Um, what is he at? Five bucks? Uh, I think he's at ten or fifteen, maybe. Probably fifteen, just because I'm like it's Tombstone. You got a fifteen. That's fair, but apparently not. And that's probably hurt the value of that too. So maybe he will end up in the five dollar bin. But uh, this Tombstone has got more of the suited look because he's. I don't. know. I feel like whenever I see him in the comics, he's usually pretty suited. Uh, yeah. He's got an alternate head that's like attached to the neck. So this one, you don't port the head off. You yeah, port the whole neck off. Yeah, I noticed off. that. Um, so I don't really that's know interesting. why. Because, yeah, his neck is the same, right? Yeah. Well, it's like the why neck is the need... pivot point. It's I don't I think it's like all one piece, the head to the neck. So I don't so know like if that's... Whole... Like that? 
Like you, his head doesn't turn. It's just his it's neck. A, yeah, his neck will move. It's, I'm pretty sure that's what Ryan was saying in the reveals, which mm. I don't know why they would choose to do that. Because I was going to say, like, maybe that works better for a figure down the road. But, like, if it's all one piece, that means you have to have the head of Tombstone on it, unless that's what they need that, like, torso to be made that way. But I don't, I don't really understand that. Maybe, and maybe I'm wrong here, but I don't think I am because I just watched this live stream like mm-hmm. 10 minutes before we got on here. Yeah. But anyway, he comes with that like alternate head and neck. He comes with, um, looks like trigger finger hand and maybe an open hand and then fisted mm-hmm. hands. And then he's also got a crowbar. So I feel like this is probably going to be the tombstone that most people want to display versus that older one and that one came out in what the vulture wave i think mm, oh, yeah something like that yeah. definitely in that era right so and i think that old one does make sense like kind of if you're going to have him more like out in the streets fighting i feel like that's going to be his look but if you kind of want him to be that mm-hmm. crime boss he's going to be in more of the suit so i don't know this is one that i don't really have too much attachment to tombstone i probably don't need him Maybe again, if I get him on clearance, like get him down to 10 bucks and I'll take him. But yeah, get that target clearance aisle. Well, uh, that's the thing, Jordan, is we're not going to find these in target. These are really these are fan channel exclusives. So you're going to get them from uh, Hasbro Pulse, um, like Entertainment Earth, Mm -hmm. uh, Big Bad Toy Store, probably Nerdzoic, places like that. And then also Amazon. So it seems like Amazon is a part of fan channel exclusives for some reason i don't know it seems like that should be more of like actual fan channels but Mm -hmm. apparently i'm happy that amazon's in it because then i get free shipping and it's easy to return (laughs) it's great for us (laughs) exactly um yeah so well i i heard a lot of people being excited about the suited body being like a like a suited doc ock later in like the 90s when he had mm -hmm. that look where he's in like the all white suit thing yeah and i've seen some pretty good like all white suit doc ocks on the uh joker from the dark knight returns body from mcfarlane i wonder how this will work because if you've got to port the whole neck off of there it may not be as easy to pop and swap other things but maybe they'll just reuse this and that's going to be what they do is they put a doc ock head on but is doc hot doc ock this like jacked because this is also a bigger Uh, figure too because he's he's supposed to be like a half a head taller than spider-man well, I may be wrong then. No. Yeah. He's wearing platform shoes. <laughs> maybe. I mean, they could maybe... No, I don't think this one could be reused for Doc Ock, because Doc Ock is usually, like, shorter, isn't he? Maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Time They're will tell. Him, I guess. So, I think out of all of these, 100% for sure, I'm getting Scarlet Spider. Most likely, might not wait for a sale to get Jack-O-Lantern. On clearance, I will probably get Hallow's Eve. On deep clearance, I will consider getting Tombstone. How about you, Jordan? Um, Yeah, definitely Scarlet Spider for sure get. I'll probably end up getting Jack-O-Lantern just okay. because, I mean, the whole, like, wait for clearance, you wait, it goes down. I don't know. Yeah. I kind of would like to have them. Okay. Um, and then I really don't feel much need for the others. Sure. But I would agree with you, definitely my... My bottom two would be uh, um, Last Stand and what was it called? Spider Shot? Yeah, Spider Shot. Yeah, I don't need that one either. Yeah, I, that's, I mean, even on super deep clearance, I would probably consider skipping those two. Like, maybe if I got them in a lot and I handled them and they were really nice, but <laughs> eh, I, I just, I don't think that I'd, they're not worth the room in my display. But if mm-hmm. I had a big Spider Man spider-verse display then i would need them so i understand why they're out and i guess we didn't really mention this either jordan how do you feel about the uh half retro card half retro card oh yeah i don't know i mean i do like the idea of them being like the retro figures mixed in with not necessarily retro type mm-hmm. stuff mm. I will say I feel better about this wave than yeah. the previous one. 
because the last I feel one was hardly any retro stuff. It was mainly just right because that was like the new Spider Woman, the Daredevil, Electra. I think the Rose and Tarantula were the only actual retro retro cards, yeah. and then yeah, Miles and I think there was one more. Mm. I don't remember who it was. I don't have it's it. Escaping me. Yeah, maybe there wasn't. Anyway, was Sp- did you say Spider Woman? Yeah. Okay. But that one, know. that one felt a lot more bare bones because I'm pretty sure Miles came with one mm-hmm. set of alternate hands. Spider Woman maybe came with a set of alternate hands. Electra only had the size. The Rose was the only one that was actually packed in with anything. And this set of six feels much more worth your money. Like, there's not yeah. much room in most of these boxes. Last Stand yeah. Spider Man is the only one that's got like extra room in there, and honestly, I'm I'm fine with that because the other figures come with so much stuff. So, and I don't mind them doing like in the carded, not a build a figure wave, those figures that yeah. maybe are more like, do you really need this one? Probably not. And I think the but amount of accessories they're coming yeah. with makes me feel better about that. Cause if they were all coming with just one set of hands, I'm like, this is a cheap way to get away from having to have a big, a build a figure. But mm-hmm. since they've got their stuff, I'm okay with it. I actually don't mind. Yeah. So. When is that the second half? Is that on pre-order now too? Or uh, that'll be up that's... Monday. Okay. So if you want Jack O' Lantern, Scarlet Spider, or what was the other one? Oh, the Last Stand Spider Man. Those are available right now. Uh, depending on where you're looking, uh, Jordan was saying that Hasbro has already sold out of Scarlet Spider and Jack O' Lantern. Um, Amazon still had them up today. I would assume most of the fan channels probably still have them available. So. You can go order those, and then Monday, the rest will be available. So, and then I think what was the the spider shot is on the original retro Spider-Man body, which I know you like mm-hmm. that one, like the drop-down hips and that kind of articulation. It's true. So, that's kind of a like you're getting two pretty good Spider-Man molds in this. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, let us know in the comments. What are you going to be picking up? Have you pre-ordered any already? You waiting for clearance on some like us? You totally skip and you hate Hasbro now. They're not giving us that scroll head, which I think is official. I don't they didn't save that at the London Comic Con or 1027, so scroll head looks like it's off a giant man. Are you swearing off your Marvel Legends now? I don't know why you would. That seems foolish. These are these are great reveals, I think. Let us know in the comments yeah. what you think. Until next time, stay strong. <laughs>